Hello everyone. Let's have a look at this question here. So this question is saying that there is a juice seller who was serving his customers using these glasses. Now we are given that the glass is in the form of cylinder and it has a raised hemispherical portion which reduces the capacity of the glass. Now we are given that the diameter of this cylindrical glass is 5 centimeters and its height is given to be 10 centimeters. So we have to find out that what is the apparent capacity of the glass, the capacity which we are feeling that the glass has and the actual capacity of the glass. These two things we have to calculate. So we can easily calculate the apparent capacity of the glass by calculating the volume of this cylinder. So that we can write down apparent capacity of the glass will be equals to volume of the cylinder. Now we know that the volume of the cylinder is pi r square h. So the apparent capacity will be volume of cylinder. So we can write down here pi r square h. So this will be pi r square h. Now if we look at, we know the diameter of this glass. So we can easily calculate its radius. It will be half of the diameter. So radius will be 2.5 centimeters here and height we are given as 10 centimeters. So we can put the values. This is pi we have to take as 3.14 and radius is 2.5 whole square and height is 10. Now if we calculate this we will be getting 196.25 centimeters cube. So we will be feeling that we are getting this much amount of juice by this juice seller. But we are not getting this much amount of juice since there is a raised hemispherical portion inside the glass. So we will be getting some little amount than this amount. So we have to also calculate the actual capacity of the glass. That we can calculate by subtracting the volume of this hemisphere from this apparent capacity. So we can write down the volume that is actual capacity of the glass will be the apparent capacity of glass minus we have to subtract the volume of this hemisphere. So this will be apparent capacity of glass minus volume of the hemisphere. Now we had just calculated the apparent capacity of the glass. We have to subtract the volume of hemisphere and we know that what is volume of hemisphere. It is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So we have to get to know the radius of this hemisphere. And the radius of this hemisphere will be equals to the radius of the cylinder. So we can write it down as apparent capacity we had just calculated. This will be 196.25. And from this we have to subtract the volume of hemisphere which is 2 by 3 pi r cube. So put the values, this will be 2 by 3, the value of pi is 3.14 and r will be equals to the radius of the cylinder. So this will be 2.5 whole cube. Now let's solve this. So it will be 196.25 minus and if we calculate this, we'll be getting 32. 0.71. Now we can solve this to get the final actual capacity of the glass. So let's solve this. This will be equals to 163.54 centimeters cube. So in actual we'll be getting only 163.54 centimeters cube of juice. So you will be aware of such juice sellers.